Hi, Mom. Yeah. No, can you pick up Chris after school? Yeah, I'm at, I'm at the doctor's. Mrs. Harris? Describe your symptoms. H hang on. Stress, headaches, nausea. Well, I work on Saturdays. And how long has this been? Equanimity. Balance your lifestyle. Hello, Valder. Good day, Dr. Richard. Thank you so much for joining us here on the Valder BB Show. My pleasure. I was told that you could enlighten us about HIV. I'm happy to. What would you like to learn about? Well, we'd like to know, really, what is HIV? People say they know what it is. We just learn acronyms and go around spreading them, in a sense. What is HIV, and how many people are affected? HIV is a, a virus and there are some specific technicalities about the virus that I won't uh, get, get into with you or use any acronyms, but it's a virus that can infect people's uh, blood cells, and when it gets infected, it can stay in the body for the rest of your life. And so it's an important virus to, A, know, when you get it, know if you've been infected with it, because the minute you find out about that, there are medications you can take that are quite simple and easy to take that you can take for the rest of your life and give you a normal lifespan. Uh, the second piece I want to say about that is that despite all of these advances, we still see 50,000 new infections a year, Valder, uh, of HIV, despite all the advances. And so we, we, we have this tension between all the success we've helped people to have, all the hope that we've engendered, and also some of the complacency, because people say, well, if I get it, the pills are easy to take. So that, that, that has been a, a big issue, which is why it's so important for everyone to take advantage of June 27th and all the days thereafter and before to get HIV tested. That's National Testing Day. So get tested, find out your HIV status, because if you're positive, you can start on treatment. You can help yourself uh, by improving your immune system. And if you're, you can also help decrease the risk of transmitting HIV to others. And if you're negative, you can find out all the host of things you can do to stay negative. And so it's important if we're gonna to get to those 50,000 new cases to get people tested and get them linked to care. Okay, I've got some Facebook and Twitter questions for you. I'll take <coughs> the face, first Facebook question. And the question is, is it determined how the virus is transmitted? Absolutely. There, it, there is no confusion about that. It's, it's transmitted through, <coughs> through, through blood and semen. And that means you can transmit it through unprotected sexual encounter, be that heterosexual uh, or MSM contact. And it's also transmitted through blood, so it can be transmitted through sharing of, of needles or other devices that could transmit blood from one person to another. It is not transmitted through saliva. It is not transmitted through touch. It's transmitted through semen and through blood. All right. Thank you for making that statement. And your first Twitter question is, you talked about infecting other people. Is there a rule for sex when you have HIV? Is there a rule for sex? Well, the, uh, if you're HIV positive and you're having sex with others, we recommend that you always use uh, a barrier protection method so that you don't transmit the virus. And so that, that's, the, that's the first rule. However, there are now various other things that one can do for HIV negative people to do to help protect themselves. So for the positive person, there's things you do. But the most important thing, I think, for the positive person, aside from using a condom, is to make sure you're on treatment. Because for HIV positive who are on treatment, the risk of transmitting to others is market markedly reduced because that medication lowers the amount of virus in a person's system and consequently in their semen as well. So the risk of transmitting to others is very low. So to summarize, if you're HIV positive, A, make sure you know your status, B, know that you're positive. B, go to see your doctor so you can start treatment. Start one of those treatments that I said is so easier to take because that's going to decrease the risk of transmitting HIV to others. And then D, using some sort of barrier method so that HIV is not transmitted is also very important. And if you're HIV negative, there's a host of things you can do to also prevent uh, yourself from being HIV positive.
because you might not always know the status of your partner you're with. Okay, I'll take one more Facebook question, and this question is, we used to say AIDS and HIV together, but now we're saying them independently. Has there been a change? I think the change is more in terms of language. HIV is the virus that causes the infection. AIDS is when the body starts to have symptoms or signs relative to that infection that reflect impairment in the immune system. But a person can come in and be diagnosed with uh, AIDS because they never got tested early. They find out they have AIDS. We start them on treatment. Their immune system improves. So now they no longer are classified as having AIDS. I think a lot of people think we've cured them of AIDS. We haven't cured them of AIDS. AIDS is just that, that, that part of the road of when your system starts to get run down that we characterize it that way. But, so HIV is a continuum. For the most part, we hope to keep everybody who's HIV positive from ever having AIDS. All right. To do the HIV testing days, do you have to go into a clinic? This is my question. Do you need to go to a clinic, or is there an at-home test? How do you test it? Balder, we live in America where there's many ways to get tested. And so you can get home testing, which you can do via either saliva or a cheek swab. You can go into testing centers that can do those same tests or do blood tests, or you can go see your doctor who, just as they can order a cholesterol or a, or a, a kidney test, can do a test for HIV as well. So there's multiple ways to do that. Dr. Richard, thank you so very much. And where would you send my audience on the web to find out more information about HIV testing day? A great website is aidsinfo.nih.gov, but if they just Google HIV testing, they'll find a host of opportunities. Thank you so very much. You've made us brighter and hopefully wiser and smarter. Thank you very much, Doctor. Thank you, Valder.